What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of The Quantum Corner. So, just a quick little update. I mentioned this in the Game of Thrones video I recently did. Um, I'm starting some new content on the channel. I'm going to be covering things like Game of Thrones as well as Star Wars. What, what? Woohoo! So, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and now I'm stepping it up. We got the trailer coming out, the Mandalorian shows coming out, along with Game of Thrones Season 8. So super pumped, um, so let's get right into it. If you guys, please don't forget, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, that will link you into our giveaway, and I will talk more about that at the end of the video. Okay, so we finally get the title, Rise of Skywalker, and this is supposed to be the conclusion of the Skywalker saga. You know, I'm definitely, it's like sad to hear the conclusion, because so many years of Star Wars and Skywalkers, it just kind of like, what? But every good thing must come to an end. So it starts out with this Force Ghost Skywalker voiceover, I believe talking to Rey, explaining in so many words that basically they're passing the torch to her and that this is her fight now. So we see a scene of what looks like a broken down Death Star. Now I'm not exactly sure if this is the first or the second Death Star. Um, judging by the Emperor's kind of giggle or they laugh, whatever, at the end of the video, I'm wondering if that is kind of hinting it to being the second Death Star, because that's where he died on. So, obviously, time will tell, we'll have to see, but I'm sure there'll be a lot of speculation leading up to then. So, we see this desert planet, kind of looks like Tatooine. I think they're doing a lot, J.J. Abrams is doing a lot of referencing. Um, in Episode 7, he did a lot to reference A New Hope, things that were in New Hope. So, I think with Episode 9, he's doing a lot to reference Return of the Jedi. And uh, I think it's kind of cool having the callback and the different little nods to things that we remember and grew up with in the Star, you know, Skywalker saga, the Star Wars movies. So, all right, we see Rey. She's sitting in the desert, kind of, you know, breathing, kind of pulling her chi together. And then, basically, she's going to start running from what looks like Kylo Ren's upgraded TIE silencer. And then as he's approaching her, she ignites, which I believe is Anakin's uh, lightsaber. And she does this, like, backflip where they stop it before you see what she's doing. But it looks like she's going to slice open the top of the ship. So I can't obviously wait to see this scene when it actually does happen. But it may be something that's later on in the movie. So along with having Anakin's lightsaber, we also had gotten basically confirmed from some of the directors and whatnot, from J.J. Abrams, some of the crew, that basically she has upgraded her powers. That by studying the Jedi text... Um, she is going to where she's going to have greater abilities, new abilities, stronger abilities. So they didn't really say exactly how much time has passed, but it's been some time for her to do some of the studying and whatnot. Um, we see Lando Calrissian, which, woo! -hoo! This was rumored for a while, and I'm glad to actually see that he really is in the movie. We get to see a scene with him uh, flying the Falcon with Chewie, and that looked really cool. And I believe that Lando is probably going to be coming into the scene to help the Rebels. I'm sure that, I believe Leah mentioned this in the last movie, getting some help. And I'm pretty sure she's talking about Lando. And he could come in, maybe provide some resources, help hide them out, whatever they need to kind of build back to the Rebellion. So we see, next we see Kylo, and he's basically with the First Order, and it looks like they're attacking this planet. Um, you see him, like, take down this figure, this person. And then there's, like, a real, like, crazy kind of red glow throughout the scene. Now, I'm not sure if that's, like, the ecosystems, you know, some kind of red moon, red whatever, sun, whatever, or does it have something to do with a weapon that they're using? Again, not exactly sure. We'll have to wait and see. Um, we also see that Kylo is repairing his old helmet, and it looks like there's some new lights, and I don't know if that's just on there for why he's working or if that's going to be kind of an upgrade, so I'm excited to see... Uh, what the new helmet looks like. Definitely let me know what you guys think about it. Do you like the idea of him going back to the helmet? Do you not like the helmet? I really liked it. I thought it was kind of an homage to Vader, so I thought it was really cool, and I like seeing it. I would like to see him go back to wearing the helmet. Okay, so we see Poe and Finn. They're on this similar desert planet we've seen earlier. We get a shot of BB-8, and this new droid, I believe, is called uh, Dio. And so we kind of get a quick glimpse of them. And then we see uh, Poe and Finn on that desert planet in some kind of battle. We see some star troopers with some jetpacks buzzing through. Um, we got Rey and uh, Leia have this kind of embrace. And it's kind of like this sentimental, you know, scene where it looks like they're hugging over something. But again, have to wait and kind of see. 
And then I believe what they talked about for Carrie Fisher being as Carrie Fisher died before this movie, I guess they're using like unused clips from like the last movie, um, digital scenes, deleted scenes, and basically using that to fill Carrie Fisher's part in the movie. Okay, so the end of the teaser trailer ends with this wicked <laughs> Emperor laugh, which <laughs> was kind of funny and blood curdling all at the same. So, I was pretty pleased with the trailer. I thought it was pretty cool. It had some cool stuff. But I think they're doing much like the Avengers stuff and not giving a whole lot out in the trailers, which, for me, I'm not necessarily complaining about. I think sometimes movies spoil way too much in the trailers. So, I'm not, like, really upset. I, some people were really upset about the lack of stuff that was in the trailer. I'm kind of okay with it. I just, I want to see the movie, and I don't want to have too much spoiled beforehand. So that's pretty much it, guys, from my breakdown of the Star Wars trailer. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of the trailer. Uh, what do you think of the video? What do you think of me covering Star Wars stuff? Your feedback means so much to me, and it really matters for me growing this channel. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment down below. That will lynch into our giveaway. Our next giveaway prize is at 200 subscribers. So keep watching, keep sharing, keep paying attention, guys. And remember... May the force be with you. Take care, everybody.